are a developer of, of producer of innovative electronics to the automotive industry, mainly the German premium automakers. We are divided in five divisions. One is sensors, then acoustics, then cockpit systems, electromobility, and also body kinematics. And to name some examples for our products, we have to deal with air quality in the cabin. So we have sensors that prevent harmful gases uh, coming into the cabin. We have um, microphones uh, for hand freeze kits and for other purposes. We are doing instrumentation and controls and also the connection to smart mobiles. And uh, we are doing battery packs for uh, light trucks and buses and very successful. And last but not least, we are in the body kinematics. That means adjustable spoilers, so uh, movable parts of the body. So a broad uh, portfolio, but all profitable niches where we are in and mostly with USPs that nobody has. I founded it 25 years ago and we started as an electronics manufacturing service company, so we provided services to the industry. Five years later, we grew into the role of a tier one to the automotive industry, and uh, more and more mechanics uh, came through the electronics, so we are uh, today more a system manufacturer. And the future will be more international, so we are growing into other countries. Our customers are mainly the German premium automakers, so they have their subsidiaries in China and in America. And so it's natural that uh, these two countries uh, are of interest for us. But we also got orders from America, so we are on the way maybe to have uh, in six months of now uh, a subsidiary uh, plant in America and then followed by one in China. One of our five divisions is electromobility. And with the same battery packs we're producing for buses and uh, light trucks, we can also grow into the business of the solar industry as a, a backup battery. And this is one thing we are developing now. Mostly our competitors are uh, big companies like Bosch, like Continental. But I think we are better in finding profitable niches and we are much faster. So to say it otherwise, we are not afraid of elephants, we are gazelles. Uh, you see that new features are coming into the car, more in development and um, innovations to the car. And mostly the drivers of these items are electronic, so that's good for us. But uh, two other things are coming too. Our share per car is increasing, so new because of new systems uh, from us coming to the car. And of course, um, the air quality in Asia is one thing which uh, we address uh, as much as possible because our equipment to serve the um, occupants in a car is just good for, for, you know, for Asia. So we think the growth driver in the future is air quality in Asia for us. I think our combination of experience in that marketplace, our financial stability, and our innovation rate uh, in that special field are something we will also uh, base on of our future success. I think that's a superior uh, risk return profile for our investors as well. Um, today being a brand for its own, of course, it's a story behind. And I think the main story, and that's also good for investors, we, we, you cannot um, uh, compare us with other companies because we are an original, we have our own business method, not copying anyone, not uh, following someone in his footstep. We invent things and with a, the working prototype we go to our customers. So it's more like the B2C business instead of the B2B and um, I think that is um, more or less the reason for our success.